Hi guys, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to install the Pacer High 5 truck cab lights on our 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. Adding cab lights to your vehicle is going to add extra lighting to the roof. It's gonna be more of a marker for the top side of your truck. The way they used to be used is when these were added on a vehicle, these were to tell people, maybe going into a parking garage, something like that, how high the top of your truck is. A lot of times now, people are adding them on to like your raised trucks, um, stuff like that, to add style to the vehicle. So now, not only are they adding style, but they're also adding the markers to, again, let people know how high the back, or how high, how high the top of your truck sits. These are gonna be incandescent bulbs, chrome plated frames or base, bases. The lenses are amber. Keep in mind that the lenses are not replaceable. So if you do crack one, you're gonna to have to buy another set. The good thing about that is, you buy another set, you have four more lenses to replace any other ones you may break later on. A lot of other lights that I've installed, um, they'll have two wires that come off the bottom of the bulb. One of them's a ground and you have to try to get it underneath one of the screws as you're putting this all together. The nice thing about these is it's gonna be a single wire. Um, and because our base is metal, when you run the screw through the roof, the light that's actually grounding itself. So we don't have to run that extra wire. Getting these installed is pretty simple and straightforward. You actually tie all the lights together and you're gonna run one single wire to the back of the switch and then another wire from the switch, either to a fuse or to a 12 volt uh, power source. I ran mine to a fuse, uh, makes it a little bit easier to tap it into a fuse rather than trying to run it out to the battery or trying to splice into another wire under the dash. If you look at these, the shape of these, they got a very aerodynamic design, so they're really gonna cut down on wind. As I mentioned, the aerodynamic design of these is very nice. When you compare them to like the newer lights, uh, they're a little bit smaller. They sit a little bit closer to the roof. But with these being more of a retro style light, some people like their trucks to be more of that big rig look or have that big rig look. So I think these lights look great on here. Uh, they're not only gonna work for your older vehicles, but they are gonna work for your new ones also. That being said, Let's go ahead and walk you through how to get them installed. To start our installation, we're gonna come inside the vehicle. We need to remove a couple of things so we can loosen our headliner. We're gonna start with our grab handle here. There's two little caps on the inside. We need to pop those off. Once you pop those off, you're gonna have two bolts. Use a 10 millimeter second, remove those. We're gonna take our handle and we're gonna pull back. Like that. Pop it out and set it aside. You'll do that same thing on the other side of the vehicle. And we're gonna move up here to the head or to the uh, visor. We're gonna pop this cap off. Slide it down to the end like that. We're going to use a star bit. And you're going to do that same thing on the other side. We're going to come to where our uh, sun visor hooks in here. There's a little cap on the back side. There's a little open spot. Just put a little flathead screwdriver in there. You can take this all the way off if you want. Um, I'm taking it off so I don't pop it off and lose it. And then you're gonna have another star bit straight up inside there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move to the center section. We're gonna grab right here on this edge right here in the center part. You're gonna pop that out. And if we look right up inside, there's a little screw here. 
There's one over here. We need to remove both of those. That one's also going to be a star bit, but it's going to be smaller than the other one. Now if you look, right up in here, there's a little clip in there. Now you can just pull down on this, but uh, with it being plastic, I don't want to take a chance of breaking it. So I'm using a screwdriver to kind of push that tab in a little bit. And you're going to have one on the other side. That allows our center to hang, gives us plenty of room. When we start drilling our lights on the top, we're not gonna hit our headliner. If you want a little bit more room, you can always take out this. And how you're gonna do that, you're gonna pop that cap and this cap. You'll take a 5 16 inch socket, take out the two bolts. We're just going to pull it back and forth. And that will give us plenty of room to pull down our headliner. Next, what you need to do is set your lights up on your roof. Kind of adjust them how you want. You can see here how we have our three center ones a little bit closer. Um, what I did is I put my center one in, centered it with this black mark in the windshield. My two outside ones, I measure from this edge over, put a piece of tape on both sides, piece of tape, or I measured from the, from the uh, edge here up, piece of tape, and then a piece of tape in the back. And what I did is once I adjusted my light to where it was facing correctly, I put a black mark on the tape on the front and the back so that if it gets, it gets moved at all, I can center it back up. Go to your center one, measure from here up, piece of tape from here, or put a piece of tape here, and then again, stand back, make sure it's centered, piece of tape on each edge, and then mark it. Once you get that, then you're gonna measure from this edge to this edge, this edge to this edge, however much distance you want, just make sure it's equal so that your, your two outside lights here are equal distance apart from your center one. So what we're gonna do, go ahead and take your cap off if you put it on there to see what it looked like. Center it on your lines. Make sure you're in between your two pieces of tape there. I'm taking a little pointed tool. You can use a tap, I mean a, uh, anything really to make a little mark. We're gonna mark right here where the light's gonna go. That's for your wire. mark here. It's going to be for our front screw. And then for our back one. Once you get that, you can see I got a little mark each one. Now we're going to take an eighth inch drill bit. We're going to drill the holes out. Now you want to make sure, because this is just uh, real thin, Make sure you're not pushing too hard because as soon as that goes through, it's going to push your build drill bit down through. Um, you, and you don't want to puncture anything like your headliner, anything like that. Once you drill your three holes, you're going to repeat that same process for the four remaining lights. Next what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our wires for our lights, go ahead and feed it into the 
housing like that feed it down through the seal I'm gonna go ahead and put the bulb in now put it in I like to pull down on the wire to kind of compress that spring rather than pushing on the bulb um, and then you're just going to do a light twist and that's going to hold your bulb in. You'll feed your red wire through the center hole. Depending on where you're going to mount your switch, you want to, the light that's going to be farthest away from it, um, you're going to want to add a long piece of wire onto it because we're actually going to be tying all the wires together with one. So my switch is going to be mounted on the driver's side. This last light is what I extended my wire with and we have it running across underneath the headliner and then we'll go in and connect all of our lights to that one wire. You're going to take the connectors that come in your kit um, if you want to use them. I don't like them. I think they're a little bit of a pain to use. I like using some like this. Um, these don't come in your kit. You can find them here at eTrailer.com. This is what we're going to connect all of our wires with. Rather than trying to slide the wire in like that, I like to feed it in. And fold it over. And we'll take our remaining wire, we're gonna run it right down the A-pillar. So the wire that you connected all of your lights together are gonna go into the bottom of the switch. Then your wire that you're going to be getting your 12 volt circuit or 12 volt power from with your fuse on it is going to hook to the top post on the switch. You are going to have to extend this wire to get to your 12 volt power. What I'm doing is I extended it down my A pillar right over here to my fuse panel. And I have a 15 amp fuse that's getting constant power. The fuse tap. You can pick those up here at eTrailer.com. They do not come in the kit. Now that we've got it all hooked up, we'll go ahead and flip our switch and test them out. Now that we know they're working, we can go ahead and put our headliner back in place and get everything put back together. Now that we've got everything back together, our lights are working great, we're ready to go. That's gonna do it for a look at installation on the Pacer High Five truck cab lights on our 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 2500.